There was a time when you could express your opinion about a film and not have some sort of agenda behind it or not be accused of being racist or sexist or woke or whatever. Spoiler assholes, I consider myself woke. I think representation in film is great. I like seeing all walks of life. It makes for some interesting stories when told correctly. I encourage stories to have some social commentary or deeper meaning behind them as long as it's not hit over our head and obvious. I will not, however, just blindly praise a movie because they checked those boxes. You have to put an effort. Casting a variety of different colors and shapes and sizes doesn't mean shit to me. If they don't have any unique purpose, if, if there's no real goal behind it, other than to say, look at us, aren't we progressive? I recently had my super popular Twitter account hacked. It's back now, it's better than ever. There's still like a thousand followers on there or something. It's a really big deal, sarcasm. But the fact that someone took the time to gain entry and to, to kick me out of it, to prove some sort of a point behind the scenes, is just, just completely stupid. Now, I don't know the exact reason for this. Was it a fluke? Was it random chance, happenstance? I, I doubt it. I think it's because someone was pissed that I didn't like Eternals, that I didn't love it with all my heart and all my being. Within 24 hours of that review, my Twitter was down. I don't care that I couldn't tweet or that I couldn't even view Twitter for 24 hours. It was the fact that I didn't want someone acting as me posting a bunch of bullshit. Thankfully that didn't happen, nothing was posted. And again, I don't know if this was because of my Eternals review. I just know that people were very upset that I didn't love the movie and that I had criticisms about it that were justified. One person had a laundry list of complaints about me saying, I didn't give it a fair chance. I didn't bother doing the research in the comic book going in so I didn't understand anything. It's the movie's job to teach me, not a comic book. Before you go into any movie about any war in history, do you do a book report first? Do you go to the library and study up? I doubt it. I know the events of Pearl Harbor. That doesn't mean I know jack shit about the planes used, the ships. I mean, come on. That's what people were saying about Eternals. Well, you didn't know enough about this going in or who these people were or how this works. Of course not. That's ridiculous. That's stupid. I also didn't hit the books about black holes when Interstellar came out. I went in just thinking, you know what? This movie will give me the information I need. That they'll tell me the basic plot. So when I'm lumped in a category with genuine assholes who do dislike a film because there's a gay couple in it, that pisses me off. There's so many people online that wanna put you in either camp A or camp B, and the people that are in the middle, us boring folks that like to live in the gray, we're just ostracized one way or the other anyways. This video was supposed to lead into something else that just happened today, but I'm having a poor time getting there, so I'm just gonna go there. Uh, John Campia, he's a much bigger channel than mine. He's a, he's a YouTube critic, I guess, something like that. I've only seen like a few things. Apparently I follow him on Twitter, I didn't know that. Uh, I guess I had some sort of morbid curiosity years ago and I, I just wanted to see a guy shill constantly for Hollywood execs and uh, on the red carpet taking selfies and whatnot. So yeah, I guess I wanted to be part of that world part of that magic. He has some really bad takes on movies I disagree with, but uh, I never called him out or anything before because whatever, I just assume that's his prerogative. He likes, he likes this movie, he loves that movie. Big deal, right? But today was different. Today was special and this might have happened in the past with him, I don't know, because it seems like the only way to really get noticed nowadays is to do something fucking dumb. Today or last night or whatever, I didn't have Twitter access, uh, and this is what I what I was greeted to. He posted a spoiler photo from a popular movie coming out. I'm not even gonna go as far as to say what it is. And he put his uh, watermark on the post or on the picture. Even though it wasn't his photo, he didn't take it. It wasn't his company that got access to it. He just went ahead and said, you know what? I'm gonna post this on Twitter. I'm gonna throw my name all over it because I know it's gonna get retweeted a bunch of times and shared and even if people are pissed there's gonna be enough that will like it and will start to follow me so uh, there's really no lose here sure Disney might go after me or Marvel but uh, that's a chance I'm willing to take and there probably will be no consequences because it seems like there never is anymore I guess the segue I was going for is in order to be noticed you have to be provocative you have to be a little sexy on YouTube you can't be in the middle and say, hey, 
I like this, but I'm not gonna give it a pass just because. And then you instantly are attacked for not giving it a pass just because. A guy like John Campia gets the grift. He's been doing it for a long time. He knows I gotta ruffle some feathers to get some looks, get some looks on my channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this photo up. Whether it's real or not, makes no difference to me. And the best part is when he's called out on it by tons of people, he straight up admits it. He says, my last fake video post got over 12,000 likes on Twitter. He doesn't give a shit whether the photo's real or not. He just wants to be in the spotlight for it. That's fucked up. And the fact that people are just like, okay, cool. Let me keep listening to this jack off is ridiculous. Almost all of my rants on this channel are pretty tongue in cheek. Like I'm over the top for the sake of comedy. I don't really spill into a lot of real world things that bother me because you know, we have one life here. Why get stressed about the crap? But this kind of stuff is really starting to piss me off now. And I'm not even mad at John Campia. Yeah, I think he's kind of a hack. But to be fair, I dislike a good chunk of people on YouTube in the movie critic space, especially the far right fandom menace crew that seems like their only goal in life is to sow discord and go after the same three people in every video. I'm talking about geeks and gamers. I'm talking about, actually I don't know the names of many of the other ones. I've gotten rid of all their shit on my timeline that YouTube was for some reason recommending. I guess it's because I'm a white middle-aged guy that YouTube's like, yep, this dude falls into this bucket. Let's give him these guys. They're mad, he's angry. It's a perfect fit. I realized by doing a video like this and speaking honestly, I'm probably not doing myself any favors because there's probably a good chunk of people that watch my channel that also follow both of these crews. I'm just being straight with you. This stuff really annoys me at this point. And no, it's not because I haven't made it. My biggest claim to fame on YouTube is doing a failed show for the Property Brothers and doing another failed show for Screen Rant. I, I mean, it, I, this isn't my job. I don't have a lot of skin in this game outside of a hobby. The problem with a hobby and one you're passionate about is you're really passionate about the bad stuff going on. I look at guys like Jeremy Johns, Chris Stuckman, Red Letter Media, and I think these dudes have all carved out great niches. They're all really good at what they do specifically. Good for them. I then look at the new line of characters coming out of the woodwork and I think, God, I hate these people. They don't have anything unique to say. They don't have an original thought in their heads. They're just riding the same wave after wave, hoping to stay relevant. Okay, I feel, I feel good now. I feel a little bit better. I just needed to get that off my chest. Needed to rant a little bit, a little bit more serious. Uh, I'm sick of the shilling. I'm sick of the pandering. And I'm, I'm frankly just sick of all of these different people coming out and saying, you're sexist, you're racist, you're woke, you're- shut up with the labels. How about just listen to what the person's saying from a critical standpoint? Do you think when you watch a video review that I'm giving you it straight, or do you think that there's some- something else going on? Do you think I'm getting paid by Disney? Do you think I'm getting paid by some other entity to slander Disney? Or do you think maybe, here's a wild idea, this guy just likes going to movies and sometimes they don't work for him and other times they do and we're not always going to agree. But I think it's so painfully clear when other channels like Campia or Geeks and Gamers put out this crap. Oh my, how do you not see through it? Or maybe you just like the ride. In which case, fine. Whatever, enjoy the same shit over and over again. In the past, I avoided saying names of people online. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't want to give any credit to them or, or credence, if you will. But now I'm just like, you know, fuck it. They have no problem calling people out by name, so I'm not gonna have any problem either. If you think I'm some sort of a small, petty, jealous YouTube critic that's jealous of all these other successful ones, I've heard it. Doesn't bother me, I've, I've heard it many times. And if you agree with me, well that's just fantastic. Give the video a like if you haven't, subscribe if you want for more videos that are a lot easier to digest, I guess. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care.
Oh my gosh, you're still here. I was just enjoying this watermarked photo, the leak that everyone's talking about. It's so exciting. Hey, you know what else is exciting? The fact that I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. If you want to join me there for a dollar or five dollars a month, that would be fantastic. By becoming a member on Patreon or joining right here on YouTube via the join button, uh, you're helping the channel grow and you're keeping YouTube honest. You're keeping the movie critic industry honest. You're not going to see any watermarked images here, I guarantee it.